Okay, uh, this video uh, is uh, pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Uh, should you use a didinium filter uh, on your camera? Uh, so, I've just got some standard borosilicate glass that I'm going into and out of uh, the flame with. Uh, right now, uh, my didinium filter is on my camera. And there we go. Uh, and now it's off. And you can see uh, the moment I, I take it off, uh, now you see what's really happening. There's a huge, huge flare from the sodium that gets uh, burned off during uh, the uh, 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 flame working process. Uh, so if you're not wearing didinium glasses, uh, all you see is that, that yellow orange flare. Uh, if you're trying to document uh, uh, any of your glass blowing, lamp working type of stuff, and you don't have a filter, uh, it's really annoying because nobody can see what you're doing. Unless you do this, you know, you come out of the flame, do some stuff, and then go back in. Uh, but again, it's really annoying of not having that filter. Uh, so, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Uh, as you uh, are considering uh, doing some glass blowing, if you want to uh, uh, spend a little bit of money and invest in this. And uh, the filter that I have is actually uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I bought a didinium uh, glass lens uh, on eBay. It's just a round lens. And for my particular camera, uh, I have a lens hood. Uh, what is this? A uh, uh, 50 uh, LH52 whatever uh, a lens hood that it just happens to fit in perfectly so I glued it in here so all I have to do is screw it on to my camera uh, even though it's a non-standard filter uh, because it's 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 in my lens hood uh, my camera doesn't even know that there's a filter uh, and then it goes from there and uh, again you go back to working in the in the flame uh, with uh, that didinium filter and it makes all the difference in the world uh, so uh, just keep that in mind because if you uh, have some like uh, interesting glass blowing uh, uh, projects that you want to work on and you want to document them uh, you do want to get a glass uh, a didinium filter whether it's uh, something you can jury rig uh, using another set of didinium glasses uh, or like I said you know uh, construct your own the way I did where I bought a lens and then I glued it into a lens hood and now it seats over my uh, my, my filter for my camera uh, the limitation of this is that uh, my lens uh, or my uh, my didinium filter only works with my pancake lens uh, for my camera. If I were to switch to uh, like my uh, uh, lens that has a zoom in it, uh, the uh, lens hood is not compatible. So again, you'd have to figure this out, but it is very, very nice to have this. And uh, not, not doing it uh, really makes it difficult if you're trying to observe somebody doing glass blowing on a, on a video or even in person. Uh, and if you were trying to document something, like I said, I, I, would, I would take the time to investigate uh, using the didinium filter.